Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at this example here. We have a stir tank reactor with two streams entering and one exit of the final mixed product exiting stream. We can assume that this is a perfect mixing inside of the tank despite the variation of the compositions of each product in each stream. Let us develop a dynamic model for this blending process illustrated above. With the key components, we can assume that W is the mass flow rate and X being the composition of the component in each stream. For mass balance, mass balance tells that the rate of accumulated is equal to the rate of input plus the rate of generated subtracting the output minus the consumption. We can assume that there will now be a consumption nor generated, hence we'll be left with rate accumulated equated to input subtracting the output. First things first, I'm going to start with my overall balance. For my overall balance, I am going to represent the rate of accumulation as dW over dt, which can be equated to W1 plus W2 subtracting W. Also, note that W is our mass flow rate, which can also be equated to the volume multiplied by density, in this case volumetric flow rate. Secondly, you can represent the component balance, in this case same as overall, but now we are including the components, which are our excess, the mass fractions. So I'm going to include them, which will give us rate accumulated dW x dt is equal to w1 x1, which is the flow rate stream 1, and its component or the mass fraction in 1, plus w2 x2 equated to wn x which are the finals in the streams we can further represent the w which is our mass flow rate in its density multiplied by volume also we can assume steady state and at steady state there is no rate of accumulation hence we have everything equated to zero next we can expand the accumulated by the chain rule this will separate our variables into two with an addition sign in between substitute everything that we managed to create above which is the overall um, balance and the component balance onto this new expanded accumulated by chain rule equation and at the end you should be able to get your mass fraction over time equated to mass over density and volume with x1 subtracting x plus w2 over density and volume and x2 subtracting x. Um, this is very, very interesting. Feel free to pause, breathe it in. Nextly, we are going to look into the very same equation, but part two will focus more on the process control, whereby we are going to discuss the types of control. This includes feed forward and feedback for this very same scenario. Thank you so much for watching.